welcome to my channel, I'm Robin Clevett. Now this is a very strange video for me because of the fact that I'm actually gonna show you how simple it is to fit a blind to a roof window. I'm not getting paid for this, it's just the fact that I really, really like the innovation behind this particular roof window and the blind system. And it's really a job that anybody can do, especially the homeowner as well. So if you are in the business of putting blinds in, now these are super innovative, You've got, this partic you've got this one here, which will just do your sort of screening. And then you've got the blackout, which actually comes down. I mean, don't you think that is innovative? And they are super simple to fit. Now, Velux, who supply these blinds and these windows, have been market leaders for so many years. And they've developed some of the best products for roof windows. They are really reliable and straightforward to fit. And they're not expensive. So I'm going to show you how simple it is for anybody to fit one of these blinds. So the blinds obviously come in a box. Now on the side of the box it says pick and click. And now this is a bit of a clue to just how easy they are. So on the side of the frame you'll see that you always have this small grey section here and the same on the other side. Now that's integral to the fitting of the blinds. So the first thing we need to do is carefully unwrap the box, take the blind out of the box, and then I'll show you just how easy it is to install. A useful, you know, rip cord on the side of the box. You should always look for these things before you get a knife out, especially when you've got fabric and finished items inside. And then it's just a matter of opening a lid and everything should be exactly as you want it. So, so what we've got in here, bag of fixings, just a few screws, including a screwdriver as well, which is useful because these are Torx bits. Torx bit is more like a star. And then we have the actual blind itself, the blind body, and we have the two rails that take the actual um, sliders, if you like, so everything slides in and out of these rails. So it's as simple as this. We're gonna take off the polystyrene from each end. And at this point, we're actually gonna put this blind, we're gonna slide it straight in. We're not gonna take these red things off. We're not gonna do anything with the strings that are attached. We're gonna literally click it straight in. So with the blind facing you, with the red sections here facing you, it's a matter of offering it up so it fits with the reveal of the frame and clicking it onto these gray sections. So basically they'll slide in there and they'll click, it's a positive click, so you're just line it up like this and, and click it in. And that's the first step done. The next step is take the bag of fixings and in the bag of fixings, you'll see two small gray plastic pieces. And they're joined together. So what we're gonna do is discard, obviously the middle bits, a bit like one of those model kits you had when you were younger or even indeed now. If you like model kits, there's also a screwdriver, which, you know, it's perfectly adequate. And the idea is these small gray clips have got a small tab on them, and that gives you an idea of exactly where they're going. So in this case, they go against the window, slide down until the tab fits exactly in this position. And then we pop a screw in here. Now the softwood is quite soft, you can use a braddle for this, or if you're a bit more confident, you can use the screw. So what I would do is pop the screw in its hole, the end of the screwdriver, give it a little push. That will give you a start into the softwood. So we'll give it a little push here, and then we'll just screw it home. So that's all you need. You don't need to get a drill out or anything like that. The windows or the material will take the screw Absolutely no problem at all. So we fix these in both sides. That's there. Do the same on the other side. These are quite a small screw as well. They don't need to be very much bigger than that. We'll slide this in here. We'll pop a screw in, I'll give it a little push. That's probably enough to actually get where you want it to be. Give it a little bit of push now to pierce. That's all you need, turn it in. So you can see how easy it is. You don't need a drill or any other special tools. Indeed, this little screwdriver, which is perfectly adequate, comes in the bag. 
Okay, the next job is to get the sliders, the sides. Now what these are, are the trims here that basically click in to the mitres on the actual blind. Now you can just carefully slit this raffle which holds them together without scratching anything. Take that away, okay. And then what we're gonna do is clip these in. Now these clip in as well, and then they're retain, retained by screws. So you match the mitre to the mitre. You'll take this and you basically offer this part of the blind into the groove. So you're gonna slide it in gently, nice and gently. It doesn't need to be yet pushed in. And then this tongue here on the mitre goes straight behind and then click. And then all we need to do is click it behind the little catch we've just put in. And that's that side done. I mean, this is super easy. The innovation is something else. You know, when you actually think about all the development of these products and how they've managed to achieve something like this, it's just amazing. It really amazes me. Okay. So that's that step. Now we're gonna screw that in, same as before. Short screws and you can just drive these straight in. Now I'm gonna be using my preferred screwdriver for this. You can still use the one supplied. Mine's got a magnetic end, so it just makes it a little bit more easy when I push that screw, get it started. I've also got a ratchet on this screwdriver, so it speeds up the process. And when you've got a dozen blinds to do, you wanna get on with it. So, here we go. So we'll get those four screws in this side, repeat the process over there, and then the blind's almost fitted. There's just one more job to do after that, and probably the one where you have to concentrate the most, I would say, but we'll get onto that. Okay. So the last one at the top here, give it a little start. Fairly straightforward if you ask me. Let's get another screw. There we go. I think you've obviously got to watch these strings that are hanging there at the moment. You know, you don't want to, you want to be a little bit careful. A, you don't want to catch them and pull them out or damage the blind. B, you don't want to strangle yourself. The magnetic end is just your best friend, basically. You know, especially when you've got a fiddly little screw like this. You can use a bradle, which is basically a pointed tool that looks like a screwdriver, but it's pointed and you can just make a hole in the softwood with that if you don't feel confident enough to sort of screw straight home. That's the last of the screws. So very quick, very easy. No tools needed other than a screwdriver. So now we're gonna take the strings, we're gonna pull them out of this little catch here. This is just basically holding everything. And we're gonna make sure that they're not tangled. I'm gonna take that one out of there too. There we go. So we've got a left side and a right side. We take them out. Now, gather them up. The, white, the two white cords are at the top and the gray is in the groove. Now, at the bottom, there's a T-shaped piece. Let me just try and get that in close to the camera. There's a T-shaped piece and that actually clicks in to that little tiny bracket we screwed on after we clicked the blind in at the top. So the white at the top, the gray at the bottom, make sure there's no snags. And you do have to give it a little stretch, but it does go quite straight, uh, quite easily. You, you pull it down and you lock it in underneath that little click. There we go, and give it a push. That's it, there's no other mechanical fixing. Same on this side. Check that we're all attached to where we need to be attached, that we're not snagging on anything. Pull it down, it needs to be tight obviously, and click. So that, at this, at this stage now that we remove these plastic retainers which held the blinds together before they were tensioned by those cables. 
So it's just a matter of easing this off carefully and it does come off fairly simply. Sort of unclick, unclick, twist. And then there's a little sticker here, obviously what's to come off. If you've read the instructions, you do not need this anymore. Pull that sticker off there. And the blind is good to go, we'll just check that. So we've got this Venetian type that comes down first, which is particularly nice. Or we can set it all the way down as a blackout here, which is pretty decent, or run it as half and half. I think that's lovely. So if you're embarking on fitting one of those blinds, it's straightforward. You don't need to call in any professional help. So have a go yourselves.